morning. I'm just really glad that you could join me here for Food for Thought. Um, this past year I had started a devotional broadcast for uh, the time that we were locked down over the spring and I stopped producing Food for Thought over the summer months into the fall and now that we're back down to uh, just online meetings, I uh, thought I'd take this opportunity to to bring food for thought to you again. And being that uh, we're approaching Christmas, I I thought that it would be good to to do an Advent food for thought. So I'm just going to be uh, doing daily devotionals in the morning and focusing attention on our Lord Jesus Christ and His incarnation. And um, you know, we've had a difficult year in 2020, and I think it's more important than ever for us to take our eyes off of all the things that are bothersome and distracting and, and turn our eyes to Jesus, author and perfecter of our faith. Over the next 25 days, we're going to be contemplating the incarnation of Jesus, our Savior. And um, Advent for Western Christians is starting... Uh, the season uh, preparing for the coming of the Messiah and the celebration of Christmas with the birth of Jesus Christ. And Advent always commences the fourth week uh, before Christmas. So Christmas is a time for us to reflect on God's grace and His goodness towards us and towards humanity in general. And the scriptures um, are full of prophecy prophecy that is the hope of mankind. And the scriptures speak prophetically of the coming of Jesus into the world um, to save people from their sins. In, in Micah chapter 5, 2, we read that uh, the Messiah would be born in, in the city of David. And it's written, But as for you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you one will come forth for me to be ruler in Israel. His times of coming forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. See, Jesus came into the world, and God foreknew exactly the plan that he was going to bring into fruition to save humanity from their sins. And in the land of Israel, there, there were actually two Bethlehems. There was a northern Bethlehem, and there was a southern Bethlehem. And Bethlehem Ephrathah is the southern Bethlehem, and it's the city where King David was born. And the scriptures tell us that the Messiah would be born of the house and lineage of David. Isaiah speaks of prophetic the prophetic coming of, of Jesus Christ in a great messianic passage in Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 and 2. Um, it's written, Then a shoot will spring forth from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and strength, the Spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. Uh, Jesse, as we learn elsewhere, was the father of David, King David. Jeremiah writes in Jeremiah 23, 5 and 6, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch. And he will reign as king and act wisely and do justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live securely. And this is by his name, which you will be called, the Lord our righteousness. So we see this. The Bible makes clear prophetic promises that our Messiah will be the Lord our righteousness. He will be of the house and lineage of David, born in Bethlehem in Judea. This Messiah would have the Spirit of the Lord resting on him, filled with wisdom and understanding, and will reign forever as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He will be the hope of the world, 
salvation not only for Israel, but for the Gentiles as well. So we can be thankful that God promises a gift of his beloved son to the world and that that hope has been fulfilled in Jesus Christ that first Christmas day. Today we give God praise for the miraculous plan which he foreordained to be salvation for humanity. Amen. Just wanted to share with you a quick thought. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And in celebration of the hope that we find in our Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, I'd like to light this first Advent candle. This week, as we continue daily devotionals, I'll be focusing on the hope of our Messiah. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.